Greetings, everyone. Today we're going to talk about citing sources by following APA style, the seventh edition. When we cite sources, it is important to understand that information that comes from other sources needs to appear in two places. First, it is going to appear in the text, and this is what we call in-text citations. And then that same information is going to appear at the end of the paper in what we call end list references. In text citations are going to provide succinct information of the source. End list references are going to provide detailed information of the source in order for the reader to be able to go identify that source and be able to educate himself, herself more about the writing of that particular author or group of authors. In-text citations can appear either as word-by-word -word quotations or paraphrasing. Word-by-word -word quotations we're going to use when we have information that is difficult or almost impossible to say it in your own words in order to preserve the integrity of the text, right? So as a result, we will use word by word quotations. Paraphrasing, it is going to be used when we can say that same information that comes from another source in our own words. Whichever we're going to use, we still need to remember that we must give credit to the source. Giving credit to the source is the right thing to do. Giving credit to the source means saying, thank you, researcher, thank you, writer, for having done this work and contributing to the science or helping me learn more. So let's talk first about word by word quotations. Depending on the position of the quote, the type of source, how many authors or is there an author or not, the way we're placing the quote and how we do it may change the structure of the sentence. So let's say that we have a quote that comes from a book, a magazine, or a journal. So obviously we're going to start with, we will open quotation marks, enter the word by word quotation, we close quotation marks, and then in parentheses, we're going to provide reference to the source, give credit to the source. In parentheses, we will provide the author's last name, only the last name, no first name, no middle name, no initials, only the last name, comma, leave a space, date of publication, comma, space, P if we have one page, or PP if there are several pages, period, space, and the number of that page, close parenthesis, period. So that is if the word by word quotation appears at the beginning of the sentence. So we just provide the quote and then in parenthesis, we provide reference to the source. Another way would be still using the word by word quotation, but we're going to start with, with an introductory phrase. For example, according to or based on information provided by. So instead of starting with the quote, we start with the introductory phrase. If we start with the introductory phrase, then obviously first the introductory phrase according to, then the last name of the author, open parenthesis, publication date, close parenthesis, 
comma, and then present the quote between quotation marks. The sentence has not finished. The information that we need to provide here is not done. Therefore, we need to open parentheses again, again provide the page number from where this quote was taken, close parentheses, period. Pay attention. The author is always going to be accompanied by the date of the publication. They never get separated. Should that be as we had in the previous example? Should everything appearing, the reference to the source appearing at the end of the sentence in parentheses, or should that appear as an introductory phrase at the beginning? of the sentence. The last name of the author is always accompanied by the pub publication date, and the publication date is always going to be in parentheses. Same thing with the page number, because this is a quote, and we need to make sure that everybody knows that I am not coming up with my own formulation, but I have taken this as word by word from the original text. And this is um, when we have only one author. Now, let's see what happens when we have two authors. So when we have two authors, then we're going to add the last name of both authors. If we present the information with an introductory phrase, according to based on information provided by and so on, then we're going to have the first last name, the word end, followed by the second last name, open parenthesis date of public. So according to, in this case, Smith and Johnson, 2021, the idea of open quotation marks, provide the word by word quotation, close quotation marks. Remember, this is taken from the original source exactly as it appears there. Therefore, we need to provide the page, the exact page number. After that, close parenthesis, period. If the word by word quotation appears at the beginning of the sentence, then obviously we're going to start the sentence with quotation, opening quotation marks, provide the word by word quotation, close quotation marks. And then in parentheses, we're going to provide the, uh, reference to the source. Now he, here, we're still going to put the last names of both authors, but we're going to connect it and connect these two last names, not, not with the word end, but with the sign end. Pay attention. If introduced with an introductory phrase, we use the word and between to connect the two authors. If it is in parentheses at the end of the sentence, then we're going to use the sign and to present both authors. Therefore, in parentheses, we're going to have Smith and Johnson, comma, date of publication, comma, page number, close parenthesis, and period goes after the parenthesis because this is where the sentence ends. Now, let's see if we have a source that has more than two authors. If we have more than two authors, then we're going to present the last name of the first author and all the authors that come after the first one will become et al. Et al is an abbreviation from an expression that comes from Latin. The expression is et alti and in translation it means and others. Therefore, we're to present the last name of the first author and others, but we're going to say it with the Latin um, expression, et al, period. 
Therefore, we have introductory phrase according to Smith et al. period. Open parenthesis, year of publication, close parenthesis, comma, present the quote, word by word quotation, open quotation marks, at the end close the quotation marks, in parenthesis, the page number where this quote appears in the book or article of the journal, magazine, newspaper, etc. Close parenthesis, period. If we're going to use a source that has more than two authors, but we start with a quote, then the quote is going to be entered between quotation marks and then in parentheses, we're going to enter first last name et al period, comma, date of publication, comma, page number, close parentheses, period. Let's see what happens when we use a website, an article that appears on a website. Remember that we're talking here about in-text citations. So what if I take information from an article that appears on a website? When we access information on a website, we do not know if that particular quote appears on page one or two or three. Therefore, we count by counting the paragraphs. Therefore, instead of page, we're going to refer to the paragraph and all the rest will stay the same. So if we have a, um, an introductory phrase, then we'll go with the introductory phrase, first author's last name, et al, if there are several, uh, there are more, more than two authors, period, open, parenthesis, year of publication, close parenthesis, comma, provide the quote between quotation marks, close that quote, then open parenthesis, para, P-A-R-A, -A, that is an abbreviation for paragraph, para, period, the number of the paragraph, close parenthesis, period. If the information appears at the end of the sentence and we're going to put it between uh, parentheses, then provide the quote between quotation marks, then open parentheses, first last name, et al, period, if we have more than two authors, comma, date of publication, comma, para for paragraph, para period, provide the paragraph number, close parenthesis, period. Let's say that your quote appears on, in an article that is on a web page, but that article has no author. So if the article has no author, we're going to refer to the title of the article, but because this is in-text citations and we do not want to distract the readers from the main content of our discourse, then we're going to provide very succinct information on that article. So we are going to, if the title is long, we're going to abbreviate it to probably one, two, maximum three words. Therefore, if let's say we have an article about pizza and uh, pizza is um, a part of the article, a, may, a keyword of the uh, title of the article, then we'll go according to open quotation marks, enter the abbreviated title, close quotation marks, in parentheses, provide the year of publication, close parentheses, comma, provide the quote between quotation marks, open parentheses, provide the paragraph number, close parentheses, period. 
if the information of the article appears at the end of the sentence, obviously we'll start with a quote between quotation marks, then open parenthesis, provide the short title of this article between quotation marks, comma, pay attention, comma goes inside the quote. Year of publication, comma, paragraph number, close parenthesis, period. If we quote an extract of a text that has 40 or more words, these are considered long quotations. So if the quote is long, which means 40 or more words, right, we're going to present the commentaries of your commentaries, colon, and the quote is going to be indented, the whole quote indented by half an inch, and there will be no quotation marks. So all the quote, as you see, we indented by half an inch, flash right, present the quote, period. Then in parentheses, we're going to give credit to the source. Last name of the author, comma, year of publication, comma, page number, close parentheses, and pay attention, there is no period after that because the period goes where the sentence has ended. The sentence of my quote has ended. So if we do not enter quotation marks because this is a long quote of 40 or more words, there will be no period after we close parentheses. Now, let's see what happens when we paraphrase. When we paraphrase, we said that we put the information in our own words. But although we take, we put the information in our own words, remember, we had to educate ourselves and learn that from a publication. So we must give credit to the source. Not giving credit to the source is wrongdoing, and we call it plagiarism. Therefore, we're going to put the information in our own words and provide credit to the source. Paraphrasing is similar to quoting. The difference is that in quotations, we must provide the page number from where that quote was taken. However, in a paraphrase, providing the page number or the paragraph number is not necessary. Therefore, if we have information coming from, um, let's say, a journal article that has only one author, then obviously we're going to present the information in, in our, then open parenthesis, last name of the author, comma, year of publication, close parenthesis, period. If we provide the information by using an introductory phrase, then the information is going to come at the beginning of the sentence. For example, according to Smith, last name of the author, only the last name, remember that, open parenthesis, Parenthesis, year of publication, close parenthesis, comma, and provide information restated in your own words. You cannot um, use information word by word. Using information word by word would require you to use quotation marks and provide the page number. If we have two authors, it is going to be done the same way as in quotations. The difference is that we do not have to provide the page number because we have put that information in our own words. But it is the same way. If we start with an introductory phrase, then we're going to present the two authors and we're going to join them with the word and. Smith and Johnson, open parenthesis, year of publication, close parenthesis, comma, and then provide the information in your own words. If 
the reference to the source appears at the end of the sentence, then the two authors are going to be joined with the sign and do not forget the author is always accompanied by the year of publication. Therefore, after the author's information, comma, year of publication, close parenthesis, period. If we paraphrase information that uh, comes from a group of authors, of more than two authors, and obviously we're going to go again with our or Latin expression at all period. Therefore, if we start with an introductory phrase, then obviously the information of the author is going to appear at the beginning of the sentence. For example, according to Smith at all period, year of publication between parentheses, comma, and then provide the information that you have taken from the other source, but in your own words. If the reference to the the source is going to appear at the end of the sentence, then we're going to put that information between parentheses at the end. For example, Smith et al. period, comma, year of publication, close parentheses, period, because that is the end of the sentence. In case of web page articles, well, we do not have a word by word quotation. So obviously it is going to stay the same way as in quotation. The difference is that we do not provide a paragraph number. Why? Because we're not quoting. We're just restating that information, but with our own words. But we st still need to make reference to the author and the year of publication. If the information that is taken from the article has no author, then we're going to do the same thing as we have uh, explained in quotations. We're going to cite the article, the title of the article. But if this article has a long title, then we're going to limit ourselves to an abbreviated version. Why? Because we do not want to distract reader's attention. We want our reader to be able to focus on the content. Therefore, we're going to provide the article between quotation um, marks and immediately after that, between parentheses this is the year of publication. If the information appears at the end of the sentence, then everything is going to appear uh, between parentheses and title, abbreviated title, between parentheses, comma goes inside, year of publication, and that is all. Thank you for your attention. Remember, there is no elevator to success you need to take the stairs. Therefore, always do the right thing. Thank you. See you next.